Agreeing that there will be no third party. Mm, okay, okay. So you have to work out yourself. Yeah, Until today, no third party. That was the first thing we thought of. I want to say that I'm the one that acts on food sometimes. We go on the food too sometimes. But I'm the one that acts as the food most of the time. It's a cheating tendency. As that always, has that come across your head before? Those types of thoughts. And not the kind of thoughts that are allowed to come into my consciousness. We withdraw sometimes. Yes, I withdraw. Okay. Withdraw. It is with the ingredients of love in making a kiss. It's a journey. It has been a journey. It's a journey. Yeah, what about you? How has it been? Thirty oh, years. So far, so good. Honestly, thirty is like yesterday to me. You know, when we made the when we became thirty, it was like wow, so fast, and just like yesterday. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about how you can you remember your first year. Do you have an idea how first year was? Oh my God. How, how was it? How was first year for you? My first year was really rough, honestly. Finger for God and my heart would have scattered the whole thing. <laughs> because, you know, like, we just got into my after you service, oh, or okay. just straight like that. Nobody had any experience. Mm -hmm. And funny enough, our time is not, not now that you're old, time that your parents are telling you about marriage. Oh, okay. Nobody told us anything. So, two different people brought two different people just coming in. They <laughs> had a lot of friction. Oh, wow. So, we had to do that just waiting. Adjusting and adjusting everything, learning. You know, like I always tell my children that marriage is a school that you never perfect. Mm. You will see that person as a book that you must always uncover to a new moon. Oh, that's okay. Nice. Now, I don't, I don't that's think that's wisdom. Know, that's that's how much wisdom. I don't think I've been able to know 100% of my husband. Even for 30 years. Yeah, you can't know enough. Mm. You're still learning. Well, I'm <laughs> <to> you, <laughs> you, you, professor. How about to be in one day? So what? she said there were challenges. How are you able to overcome that challenges first year? Let's have a preamble of what we are going into. Um, we must know what marriage is mm. in, the, in the simplest term. Okay. Then we can move from there. Mm. In the simplest term, you can see marriage as uh, two persons agreeing to form a family. Okay. And then in this part of the world where we come from, I mean, a family means you must also procreate. Mm. The first year, well, you came into something that you have to learn, you, learn, you know, combine all these complexes and work together. Well, it was it was enjoyable, but there are some constraints. So, how, how did you overcome that challenge at the first year? What did you do? What did you say to yourself? Did you really open to say that, okay, whatever we're going through, we're going to push through in this marriage? Do you have to go to counselling? No, we have to work. We worked it ourselves. Okay. Nothing like counselling. We worked it ourselves. Okay. You know, agreeing that there will be no third party. Mm, okay. okay. So you have to work out yourself. Yeah. Until today, no third party. That was the first thing we thought of. Yeah. No third yeah. party. You have to okay. work out your differences yourself. And for me, as I'm going into the marriage, I made up my mind that there will be no divorce. Mm. So along the line, when it was not really 
Lord, I will just say, Father, help me. You just have to make this way. <laughs> and you know, every, funny enough, each time you have that kind of prayer, God will just give you an inspiration. Okay. I'll just give you a video and have to handle it. Mm. So, okay. That was how we were able to manage it. Right, this is really lovely. It's all about uh, procreation. So, when I came into the church, what changed? Well, for us, the children, initially, we had a different mindset. For the glory of God, my father wanted a child, a baby girl. Bible just one child. Just one child. Bible 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 the thank God for my husband. Oh, oh. he's a wonderful husband. Oh. He just kept <laughs> on. He kept on, you know. Mm -hmm. We should know that in marriage, like I said, it's a journey. Yes. So in that journey, there are many turning points. Mm -hmm. When I mean turning points, you know, it could be ups and downs. Yeah. It comes, serious challenges. But at those turning points, it's either so you work it out, you work it out. Or you don't work it out. Mm, okay. Are we complicated? Yeah, so you, you, you must you must have the attribute of saying within this turning point, how do I handle it? Okay. Sometimes people can talk about love, love, love. Certain times it looks as if love, love does not exist anymore. Mm. But then at that point, what do you do? I feel like that's scary when people tell me that love eventually moves to the most important in the marriage. Okay, take for instance, if you say it's the most important, when you get angry and become uncontrollable, will you say at that point there's love? Mm. That means there's no love at that point. But then you must look for something to put inside. Maybe you learn the attribute of patience at that time. Okay. And use patience to solve the problem. Mm. Are we communicating? Yes. Let's take for instance, as simple as painting a house okay. could cause a lot of problem in marriage. Painting just your own house. So what do you do? Must you choose the color of your wife's room? You must allow her to choose the color of her room. Assuming the sitting room, perhaps you must call her to say which color do we use. Okay. Those as simple as that. But that alone can cause problems in the home. Like I used to do. When I want to paint my house, I call her, choose your color, or which color will blend. These are little ways you can use to solve certain problems. I don't know what to say. I'm just like, wow, <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. Okay, so let's talk about finance now. Mm -hmm. So, how are you able to, you know, manage finances? Thirty years are still counted. But then, obviously, there are times when you're like, ah, this lady, can I just have my own money to myself? As a man, how are you able to, you know, manage finances with the family? Thirty years now. I said the value system. It's okay. one of those variables that we must. See. We must look at when going to marry me. Value system. Yeah, wife will have a different value system. Maybe she's the type that likes to spend money. Okay. You know, certain things attracts her that gives negative effect on the finances. Okay. So those are things that we must also look at when going to marry it. Because it definitely will bring stress at home. Okay. So I, I like managing my finance. Okay. And as a policy, you know, you must know your wife. So it's not everything you must tell your wife, yes? There are certain, as, as, as a man, you must know what to tell her, not, what not to tell her at the right time. Yeah, okay, at the right time. At the right time. So assuming you are the type who makes, can get into a job and get some good money, and you feel that in the society that you're living in, people might suspect you, why not tell your wife, this is the work I'm doing, I've been paid some amount of money. Okay. But that does not mean that you give the money to her. Are we communicating? You know how to manage your money, but she's aware that you have this money. Okay. Um, I just want to add that we enjoy having our own space in our finances, you know. Like, my husband does not, like, ah, not over me, like, he takes care of the feeling in the house, but as a woman, like, you chip in once in a while, you understand? So, that I guess it's not. You have to be once in a while, and you take care of the children's schooling and all that. You know, so all the time, I am a major planner. Yeah, I agree with that. Yes, I'm the major planner. So I'm not you must agree. You must agree. <laughs> <laughs> now, I must agree. 
No, there are, there are certain times a man must agree okay. uh, to keep no, to keep so the way. variables to converge. Yeah. She wants to talk. <laughs> Anybody that talks? Yeah. For me, like, if all what that makes me get angry, what I do is that I will draw for that moment. Okay. I don't want to draw, have my peace. Then I look at the right time to say, ah, I'm with this thing you did. We withdraw sometimes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I withdraw. Okay. Then I'm just saying, this thing you did. You know, like, sometimes you want to spark. Or maybe one or give one or two words like that, then you jump up. No, the truth is that sometimes you, you give it out. No, <laughs> I don't give up. I don't come back. You hold back, then allow him to. But you must let him know that he's yeah. offended you. No, you don't need to. For me, I don't have to go to many things. I enjoy it when I let it go, you know. So even if I'm not saying all at that point, when you come and let's see this, if you yes, if you this, or maybe I'm accounting and you now show. So when you go, what is that not happening? You know, sometimes we have to to let go mm. and that to be peace. Okay. That does not really show a sign of weakness, but mm -hmm. you know, to create harmony. Okay. Yeah, so, speed is important in this marriage business. Everybody must learn to act with one person, and for us, <laughs> I want to say that. I'm the one that acts as the fool most of the time. We don't have the fool too sometimes. But I'm the one that acts as the fool most of the time. And you know, and because of that, we don't have much fiction. Because we don't have much fiction. Not true. I'll keep going. Okay. Uh-huh. Because I'm the same person. It's not true. Okay. Let me get from answer that question. Well, um, situations arise where you need to take an action but in taking action sometimes you use new ways in solving difficult problems new ways in solving difficult problems a man being quiet most times to allow peace does not mean he's a weakling but that is one of the tools he feels he can use to create harmony in the room but it comes a time where a man will stand up and say, no, this thing should be handled this way. But in doing that, we must also learn to present it in a way that their partner must understand. Okay. Doing things with the ingredients of love in making a okay. case. Learn to forgive, tolerate okay. for things to happen. Yeah. Okay, another one. You know your wife is a pretty lady. She's so fine. Anything goes. My mind's So, have you been scared of, oh, this is my wife? There can be some cheating tendency. Has that always, has that come across your head before? Those, those types of thoughts mm. are not the kind of thoughts that are allowed to come into my okay. consciousness. No. Don't think of that. Was. I don't want to even imagine that, so okay. I don't even think of that. Uh, so allow somebody to have freedom. freedom. The freedom does not mean that no. you 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 want that to happen. No, okay. but but as a woman, if she, a woman wants to do anything, she can do anything without her, without you even knowing, even right in your home. <laughs> so why kill yourself yeah. to the point that maybe you go to check her phones or begin to bother who calls her? No, mm. if a man wants to live long. Then avoid those kind of thoughts in your life. Okay. Like she doesn't come scream my phone to see who has called me or who has texted me. I didn't tell her not to do that, but that is her own lifestyle too. Okay. Which is my lifestyle. Don't take her phone. That is the freedom. Okay. You allow your thoughts to be free. Mm. So I've never thought of it. Even if somebody tells me, I will, I will not take it seriously. Okay. Okay. Awesome. What do I do? And I will enjoy our space a lot. Space too. We have our freedom, you know. So I don't know. Should I be suspected? Suspected? You know, there was one time. But somebody had been coming to tell you stories. No, no, no. There was a time. There was a time I came to. But I asked you that question. You told me that I just played. Yeah, I was doing some bad way. You took it. The way you took it. 
I think um, and my mother told me, said, I know it's my, it's my own, my own sister, I said, no, it's my sister, it's your own sister, so don't think it's somebody, yeah, okay. not from my side, no, calling somebody, the one I had told me was so angry with the lady, the next day, the face, it covered everybody, she denied it, I said, okay, not from the mouth, from what can we say, so that was why the matter was said. You have to copy it, you have to not copy it, you have to get up. Yeah, that's it. Those are the people that used to go to the village with me. I don't know. I wasn't expecting you to get to that level. Mm-hmm. See, she's trying, she's trying to tell you that, please, choose me. Find out me all those fans. You're the one who can't go away. The one you might watch. You're too, too, bele, bele. All right, so how do you have fun? 30 years, how do you have fun? Mm. I'll guess we have it for us. For us, fun is one thing that. For me, I like traveling a lot, so once in a while we just travel out and most of the time I'll go and buy things. Buy things, we come to the house, we eat, drink, just discuss, laugh, and then talk about anything I want to talk about. But that is fun for us. Okay, so what do you have to tell to single people like us, people that just start in life in the marriage? What, what advice would you talk, say to us? One, avoid situations that will initiate such level of stress that can cause serious problems. Okay, okay. And then use the right tool okay. to solve the situation at the right time. Okay. Problems will definitely, definitely come, come, but Absolutely. look for how you can solve it as well without involving a third party. I want to say that marriage is a beautiful thing is obtained by God. It's the best situation I've ever talked about. <laughs> Marriage just know that it's a journey. Let us my husband right to say it's a journey. And you must learn to learn about the other person. Okay. It's a school that you never graduate. Mm. Yes, yeah. so, yeah. so much for coming mm. on and it's a entertainment. And thank you for your support. I know you had so much fun. Ah. Mm. Let me know in the comment section below what's your life for 30 years of marriage. And definitely I'll see you next time on the conversation with Anthony Scott. I can have Thank you. <laughs> I want to say a wonderful husband. I just thank God for giving me you. Because you've been so caring, loving. You're always there for us. You've never lacked anything. And I say, if there's another husband, you have been you. Thank you for being a wonderful <laughs> I thank God for having a beautiful wife that's allowed me to go through this process to this point. And uh, looking back, where we started to where we are, so we have been so blessed. Uh, thank God for this home.